a door in a wall is hard because how do you make a big gaping hole in your wall without your wall falling over? Well, people have come up with lots of ways to put doors and windows in walls made of stone blocks over the centuries. And you can do this at home with books like I'm doing or with building blocks. Just go up until you're happy with the height and then stack each next layer a little closer to the middle until the final layer touches just like this. And then you take a big heavy book and you drop it right on top. And it's pretty stable and you've just made a doorway. It works even better if it's part of a wall because you want extra weight on the outside of these books here. So of course, I had to build one that was part of a whole wall. This is the same corbelled arch built out of little building blocks. And as you can see, I went closer and closer together until it meets at the top and it is very strong. Whoa, ha ha. Now, let's max it out. The kind of arch we're building is a corbelled arch. And the Science Max build team and I are using pieces of wood cut to different lengths. How high can it go? We can use my head to, no, okay, wait, wait. It takes a while to get together, but once it's done, it looks just like the kinds of doorways stone buildings had in ancient times. Ta-da, there you go, a maxed out corbelled arch. We went straight up until we got to these layers and they got a little bit closer and closer to the middle until the last piece is one big solid piece. And if we built this right, it should be strong enough to hold me up. Yeah! <laughs> Science! Woo <laughs> well, it, it held me up for a minute, didn't it? <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max Experiments at Arch. Science Max!